All right, what's up guys? Season 11 just dropped in EA Sports PGA Tour and I have got a sponsored video for you here today, guys. We are going to check out the par 3 course at Augusta with Jack Nicklaus. Both of these things just got added to the game today along with three of the major courses, Valhalla, Pinehurst number 2, and Royal Troon, uh, the Royal Troon in Scotland, of course. So um, very exciting times to be a uh, part of this game. We just got four new courses and Jack Nicholas is in the game. And we are going to do, as I said, a quick play round with him at the Masters Part 3 course and see if we can get a hole in one. So that's the goal. I'm going to be playing on Sim Difficulty, of course. Um, thank you to EA for sponsoring this video. Um, awesome opportunity and really cool to be here doing this for you guys. So let's jump in. Uh, as, you, as, a, as you know, of course, you have Augusta National here, um, which is the, uh, the course of the Masters, of course, which is going to be happening uh, next weekend, which is really exciting. And the Part 3 course, uh, which they do the day before, will be happening next week and as well. Well, next week, I suppose. Uh, and then you have Pinehurst number two, Valhalla and Royal Troon, uh, which have all been added to the game. So that makes it 39 courses in the game now, which is a, a really high number, to be honest. And Jack Nicholas has made it 23 golfers. So here we go. First nine with Jack Nicholas, 99 overall rated here. You can see his power is only two from the top. His accuracy, three from the top. Control is full on the driver. Approach accuracy near the top. Pretty much every stat is very near the top. And of course, we're talking about one of the greatest of all time here in Jack Nicholas. Um, so yeah, his putting stats are, are to the max. And as you can see, uh, this is a younger version of Jack Nicholas, of course. Um, he's right-handed, ball trajectory is low, and his preferred shot shape is a fade. He's got the bag there, the green bag with the Masters clubs, and he's got the uh, the Masters gear on as well. Now, I do believe Jack Nicholas has four different outfits to choose from. This is his round one, his round two, his round three, and his round four. His final round outfit is kind of the classic one there. I think we're going to go with that. We'll go with that one. Before we jump into the round with Jack Nicholas here as well, I wanted to say that there is some challenges here as well. Some new challenges based around Jack Nicholas's career. Some of his most memorable moments down the stretch in major championships, like here in the 1970 Open Championship and here... Uh, at the players. So you'll see some of some really cool moments and, and relive them playing as Jack Nicholas, which is really cool as well. And then they have the drive chip and putt challenge at Augusta here as well, where you have to hit three drives in the qualifying rounds and only two in the finals. And then you're kind of scored on the longest drives that stay within the, the designated area, which I think is uh, really cool to have the drive chip and putt challenge in there. Um, that kind of just gives you a taste of uh, what it feels like to compete in the junior golf competition, which is what it said in the patch notes as well so yeah let's get back to the round um, i'm gonna play on like a wind speed of, of three to five mile an hour nothing too hectic here at augusta um time morning crowd on uh whole location sunday of course you got to go with the sunday uh pin positions even though you know it's it, it's the par three course it's not really going to make too much of a difference here uh but anyway let's jump in let's do this thing and uh let's check out the update and of course season 11 didn't just bring in the new players in the courses it also has brought in the pro pass as well season 11 pro passes here which we can check out after the round as well and um, just have a quick little gander at that and uh great news as well all of the new three major courses are going to be added to career mode so um incredible stuff there we're gonna have three courses rotating for the u.s open the open and the pga championship now as well um so yeah that just gives the career mode so much more replayability and yeah this is probably the biggest update that ea has done for the game yet let's just watch here i'm rich learner and partner you and i have called a lot of rounds of golf through the years i know there's always something that piques your interest how about today Rich, every day brings you a chance, a chance to do something special. And, and when we get to see glorious, this perch, absolutely glorious. And I don't want to see the, the head going down. I want to see the there he is. Look at that bloody head of hair on him. <laughs> special. It could be a chip. Maybe the chip goes in. Maybe it's a 30 footer that goes in. Maybe a drive gets rifled down the fairway. Do something special. So as you'll see as well, Jack Nicholas does have his own custom set of clubs in this game now um, from driver down to putter. And they, I believe, all will be in the pro pass as well. Um, so as you can see, we got a 125-yard par 3 to start here. Um, yeah, landing on a bit of a downslope. It's a, it's a tough pin position. It's a it's tight pin position. So honestly, getting this anywhere close will be pretty decent. I need to see what Nicholas's swing is like now in the game. Uh, yeah, you'll see that left, that that typical left leg raise there on the way back. This is just classic Jack Nicholas. Now, I wasn't uh, alive early enough to witness him in his prime or anything, but um, 
yeah, I've seen some clips and he's just an awesome player, man. That is a little bit of underswing, but might not be the worst shot in the world. Okay, so you gotta hold his swing a little bit longer. That's something that you need to get used to each pro's swing because they all have different swings, you know? Um, it's, it's not like it's all gonna be the same for each player. Cool, okay. Let's try uh get the controller on the desk here and see what we can do. Uh, so I think I'll go with a little chip here and just try and run it up there. Now I've realized that if you play the pit chip like maybe five yards short on Sim, um, this one's uphill so I'm gonna play it four yards short, and then you can kind of almost hit the chip full, and that should generally be the perfect rollout distance. That's a classic wedge he has in his hands there. Just like that, just like that. Ooh. That was close. That was close, Jackie boy. Very close indeed. That was tracking pretty well. Too. It would have been a lovely birdie to start, but we'll have to settle for a par. Disappointment there. Now, nothing really makes you feel better inside. Gives you those tingles inside more than the Masters, and the fact that there's more stuff surrounding the Masters is always good. You know, we got a little hundred-yard par three here uh, at the second tier. I, I love the par three um, tournament as well that they do. Uh, at Augusta, just having the feel-good factor before the actual tournament starts and you get right down to business. I love that little feel-good factor that you start with. So we got 104 yards. Jack Nicholas's 60-degree wedge goes 110. What could we do if I made this work with a little bit of loft? Mm, still might be a little too much, so I might try a finesse. So finesse actually could be ideal here. A little bit of wind behind us. Oh, I think this could work. All right, let's try it. Now I need to get the uh, Jack Nicholas's. There. Okay, so he, he goes up quite high. Even with the wedges. That could work. It's not... Yeah, is it? Not bad. Just the underswing killed us a little bit, but it's our, it's our first real birdie, gents. And with Jack Nicholas's max putting stats, uh, we should be uh, right as rain to, uh, to give ourselves a chance for birdie here. Turns right at the start and then turns... Or sorry, turns left at the start and then turns back to the right. Um, it shouldn't be too much in this. It is quite far uphill though, so I'll give it I'll give it a little bit of welly here. And hopefully we can make our first party. The typical kind of hunched over on the putter as well. They've really nailed Jack Nicholas's aura here. Uh, and that's something that's very important, I think. Party time. Party time. Let's go. One under. The goal has to be four or five under. And give ourselves at least a, a close call with a hole in one. We gotta give ourselves a close call with a hole in one, man. Alright, par three, 105 yards. Let's see what we got. And I'm, I'm surprised actually as well that all the major courses are in immediately. I thought for sure it was gonna be a, a situation where the major courses were gonna be coming a little further down the line. So, yeah, they went all out with this update. They took out all the stops. Now, I do think the wind is gonna affect this a little bit. Not too much. You'll see that... Yeah, it landed on the flat pretty much. Even though it's downhill, we're kind of landing on the flat. Let's give ourselves a good chance for a hole-in-one here. Let's scare, let's scare that hole. The underswing is killing me. Honestly, his... um His uh, his backswing is so long that I'm just not used to that. Because most of my characters, like, they have a much shorter backswing than that. Uh, but that's the thing from back in the day. I feel like players back in the day, their backswings were always a lot... A lot, lot longer. I think this should work I'll almost hitting this full. Almost. I, I could have hit it full, to be honest. It would have been perfect, but we'll take a little par action here. The old school clubs as well, just class. Because they did have some Augusta clubs in the, in the game before, but these are like Jack Nuck Nicholas custom ones. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. There you go. One under two three. Well done, Jack. Well done. All right, come on now. Let's sort this swing out. Once I can sort sort this swing out, I really believe that we've got this. Ninety yarder here. We gotta hit a little finesse with Nicholas here. We gotta go a little bit long and just. I think there's going to be a lot of backspin on, spin on this one, just because of. Honestly, you could spin this into the water easily enough as well, though. So we need to be aware of that. I want to land it up near the back of the green and kind of have it come back a little bit. Alright, so the back of the backswing, there. There you go, that's better. That's much better. Now spin for me, baby. Spin for me. A little too much. <laughs> I played for the spin, but that was a little too extreme. No, don't do this! Don't do this! No! 
We've gone in the water. That was always the risk you run when you're going for it there. Um, no, we'll go off the tee again. We'll go off the tee again. I want to... I want to take another shot at that. I want to have another bite at the cherry here. I really think I actually have to hit a low ball. I feel like to stop this spinning more than anything else, uh, because it's just going to spin into the green no matter what, or into the water no matter what. Oh, look at that! Perfect backswing. How about that? This might not spin at all. Is the problem? Nope, it still spins. That's really good, actually. That's really good. That's what you wanted to do. Beautiful shot. We might be able to get away with a bogey here and stay level par rather than moving to, um... Oh my god, it's still difficult though, isn't it? So it does move to the right at our feet. I feel like it moves a little... Yeah, I, I think this is going to be fairly straight, you know. Downhill, we need to be careful going in the water here again. Yeah, that's what I was thinking is like, it, it didn't say above. Oh, I didn't hit it. It was turning back at the end. It was turning back at the end. I just didn't hit it. Okay. Well, it's a double bogey, unfortunately. We have to finish under par still. We have to come back from this and finish under par, guys. All right, that's the goal here. This is going to be a really fun course to just play with friends and uh, and mess about on as well, I feel like. Because just going on here and trying to get hold of ones, you know? Uh, especially in Masters Week when we're really feeling it, when we're pumped up. Um, just doing that will be fun. I wonder, can you skim the shot across the lake? <laughs> John Ramstall, get a hold of one like that. I somehow doubt it. All right, that pin position is kind of kind of evil, honestly. It's right at the front, and it's, like, going to spin back off. But pitching wedge for Nicholas, 150. I wish I could hit my pitching wedge 150. Good shot. Really good. Come on. Straighten out. Straighten out. Straighten out and come back for me, baby. Come on. Go in the hole. Go in. Go in. Jack Nicholas. Yes. Come on. My first hole in one in EA Sports PGA Tour comes with Jack Nicholas at the Masters Part 3 course. Let's go. And it was on the longest hole so far as well. Can you really believe it? We didn't even celebrate. <laughs> well, I did. Nicholas looked like he didn't even care. He's probably had so many of them. You know, it doesn't even matter to Jack Nicholas anymore. But wow. What a moment to have there. What a moment to have. Unbelievable. My first hole in one on EA Sports PGA Tour. Is it cheating using Jack Nicklaus when he's 99 overall? No, it's not. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. That is unbelievable. All right, we're going to need to hit a little finesse shot here with Nicklaus because I think anything else is going to be too little or too much. So we're going to have to just take a little bit off this and let's see if we can get another one. Oh my God, that just spun back so perfectly, man. I can't believe it. Oh, please be good. Come on, be another one. That's long. Is it going to spin off this little hill, though? Not really. Not really. It's getting better. It's getting better for sure. Okay, we'll take it. I'm not, I'm not going to complain about that too much. I can't believe we got a hold of one, boys. It was so perfect, too. It was just absolutely beautiful. All right, this is going to turn right to left quite a bit. It's uphill. A decent amount, too. Oh, good effort. It would have been lovely to follow up the hole in one with a with a party, but we'll have to settle for um for a par. I can't believe we double bogeyed and then got a hole in one to get it right back. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. We followed up a double bogey with a hole in one. That's how you do it. Three holes left here on the par three course. Let's see if we can finish in true Jack Nicklaus style and be clutched down the stretch. Par three, 115 yards. All these pins are like right on the edge as well. Um, they, they do not make it easy for you here on the Sunday pin positions. So we could use the slope if we wanted to and try and spin this back, or we could just go right at it. What do we think? I think I'll just go right at it with a, with a little 60 degree. Put a little bit of a low ball, ball flight on this because it's going to spin too much otherwise, I think. Just realized I completely forgot to use my green screen too, but it's it's fine. <laughs> Maybe it's good luck to n to not have the green screen up. I just realized that I uh, I am stupid. <laughs> I am stupid. I usually use my green screen for these PGA videos, but whatever. All good in the hood because I was recording um, some Tomb Raider and just recorded an update video for this beforehand where I wasn't using the green screen, so I think that is why. Chip in. Ooh. That one stopped up quick. That was uphill. That was that was a tough one. Shouldn't be too much trouble from there. You need to be okay. very delicate on these greens. Jack the Nicklaus, just give it a little tap, tap, tap. Rui ain't gonna miss from this range. Look how low down he grips the putter too. 
All right, two holes left. We've only had one birdie. One birdie. We haven't had any bogeys at all, though. We just had a hole in one and a double bogey as well. All right, come on. Let's get another birdie. We need a second birdie, man. Or a second hole in one. Imagine I had more hole in ones than birdies. That would be pretty insane. Okay, we got a 113. Oh, man, this is tough, though. Look at that. That's going to spin like crazy, and you're in the water if it spins too much. But that's the fun part about it, I guess. Okay, I'm going to hit the 60 degree, but I'm also going to hit a low, low ball flight here. Like the lowest of ball flights to stop this spinning if we can. No, that's going in the water for sure. I think that's 100% in the water unless it goes in the hole. That actually could... Stop, 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 stop. What a shot. What a shot. Stay there. Oh, yes. That should be our second birdie, man. Come on. It's going to turn a decent amount, actually, but I think we should be able to make this. Come on, Nicholas. Come on, Jackie boy. Yes. That's a second birdie of the day. It's two under par. And now let's finish strong like I said we would. Jack Nicholas at the top of his game here. Let's see if we can finish uh, with a birdie here on this one. I mean, this is the Sunday pin positions. You're either off the green or you're really close. If, you, if you're going for the pin, if you're get, getting at that pin, it's either going to spin off the green or be absolutely perfect. And what do we do here? It's downhill. I think that's not enough, but this is too much. I need to hit a finesse, I think. Yeah. Okay. We got to be a little bit safe with this, but not that safe. So I'll go like a 128. Come on, baby. Be good. Be good. good be good. One. Be good for Jack. Come on. Yes, sir. It's a beauty to finish. It's an absolute beauty to finish. Nine foot, ten inches. And that's absolutely glorious. Okay, let's see what we got here. Down the hill. Breaking right to left a little bit. Nothing too crazy, but a little bit. Oh, it did break more than that, though. It did break a little more than that. Man, the course looks great in-game as well. I will say that. The course looks phenomenal in-game. I mean, it looks just as good as Augusta does, of course. Um, and Augusta in this game looks magnificent. So, we'll finish with a par. And we'll settle for two under. You know what? With the hole-in-one, it doesn't matter what I do for the rest of it. We'll take that all day long. And that is a glorious, glorious moment in the history of this channel. And uh, in the history of Jack Nicholas's career, of course. No, he probably has a lot bigger moments than that. He's won 18 majors, for God's sake. But uh, but still, there you go. I had a blast with that. I really did. And I can't wait to play that course more. I can't wait for the Apex Alex match on there. That's going to be a whole lot of fun. But Jack Nicholas, 99 rated in the game. Yeah, he's uh, he, he clears Scotty Scheffler by seven. By seven on the stats. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is so cool to see. Absolutely awesome to see. And uh, I can't wait for the Masters next week. It's going to be incredible, guys. Um, this is just the best time to be a golf fan right now. Um, it, we have we have a great golf game here, and we have the Masters coming out. And, and that's just going to be the best time to sit in front of the TV, plant yourself, watch the Masters all day, and then play EA Sports PGA Tour after that and play, uh, play the Masters on there as well. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. We'll check out the Pro Pass here for anyone who wants to see it. So, as you can see, um, we can go through it here. Um, I'm going to buy it myself there now because I have enough to activate it anyway, I think. And you can go through. We have uh, the Jack Nicklaus Cubs a little bit later down the line, and you'll see it there. Um, that's where it starts. We got some cool new shirts. We got the Jay Lindeberg stuff. Uh, caps in there. Uh, of course, the iconic Nicholas Clubs here. And all the way through the Golden Bear. There you go. There's the woods. The iconic woods there. The iconic old school woods and irons and wedges. And all the way until the end. There's 90 tiers on this, uh, on this battle pass, on this pro pass. So uh, absolutely a huge one here. Um, because I don't think I remember there being 90 tiers before. There's the pants we were just wearing for round four. I think the last one is Victor Hovland's shirt for the Jay Lindenberg, which uh, I actually really liked it. It was a controversial shirt, but I tell you, I really like that Hovland shirt. So yeah, stay tuned for my new career mode as well, where I'll be... Uh, where I'll be going through with all of the new major courses and stuff like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, EA Sports PGA Tour, I think, is on sale on Xbox. And it's on EA Play now as well. I'll be giving away codes for the game real soon as well. So thank you guys for all of the support. I really appreciate it. We'll be back with more EA Sports PGA Tour uh, in the very near future. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, that hole-in-one will live in my memory for a very long time. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace out. Of course, guys, I did want to mention that this update is out now, just in case I didn't mention that. The update is out 
right now for you to play. You can download it. I'm pl Obviously, I was just playing the update there, but it's out for everyone right now. So Season 11 is here, and um, it's glorious. So see you guys out there. Hopefully, I'll see you guys playing, playing online at some point, and we'll get a match in. See you next time.